Hey everyone, welcome back. It's great to see you. I hope you've been keeping well and you've had a great couple of weeks. Gone for a slightly new logo, so let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. So the weather's been pretty miserable here for the last couple of weeks. Hasn't really been conducive to making videos, but have got a few jobs done around the garden. I've got on and I've started treating both ponds for the blanket weed, but we'll have a check in on the koi in a second. And then also coming up in this video, I've got another koi that I've got some issues with. So we'll go through diagnosing that and how we're going to treat that with PP, potassium permanganate. Um, all that's left to be said then is if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button as well next to it. And enjoy the update, everyone. Thanks for watching. So as we do every week, we'll just have a quick walk around the garden. I mean midway through May, you're in full swing, everything's starting to grow nicely. Had quite a lot of blustery weather this week, so there's a lot of leaves on the floor. I need to get on and put some gravel around all of the busy lizzies as well, because slugs and pigeons are starting to eat them. As I said at the beginning, I've started blanket weed treat in the nature pond. Still a couple of fish in there, I realised as I was doing that. But not really lot going on here as I say it's pretty much been windy and rainy for the last couple of weeks so I haven't been able to get out in the garden that much but everything's starting to grow in very nicely and starting to look nice especially the bonsais are starting to look really nice at the moment And now, uh, let's go check in on the koi. In general, the koi in the pond on the whole are looking okay. The blanket weed treatment is starting to have an effect. Um, yeah, as I say, there's not really a lot going on. The kahaku isn't looking too happy at the moment. Can't really see him on camera at the moment. I whipped him out the other day, gave him a scrape couldn't see anything on the scrape and kept him in quarantine for a couple of days until he was doing better and now I've put him back in the pond just so I could get on and treat this the tancho which was the more pressing issue so most of the others are all okay and fine and we'll go in now have a look at this poor tancho and see what we're going to try and do to help him Here is the tancho in question and as you can see I might be slightly too late as he's already started pine coning but we've got two theories either it's a bit of dropsy or he's knocked himself on one of the bricks in the pond that hold the air rock in place so we I've done an extensive amount of googling and discussing with the building reefer and we come to the conclusion the best thing to do is give him a potassium permanganate um, high concentration dip for five minutes and then whack him into this quarantine vat that I've set up so I've just got a uh, pump in there circulating the water back round. Then I've got three heat sticks in there um, to get the temperature up to 26 degrees in there and a couple of air rocks so he's got a nice lot of air. And we'll be keeping him in here monitoring him closely to see how he does but let's give him that PP dip now and start the process. Hopefully it will help. 
can only go one of two ways though, so we've got a 50-50 chance at this stage. Let's just hope for the best. Okay, that's the PP in there. I'm really starting to think this clover leaf potassium permanganate may not be very strong because it doesn't really go purple, it just almost instantly goes brown. So may try a different brand of PP. But we're just going to carefully dip the koi in there now, keep them in there for five minutes, and then put them in the fresh water and back in there. So let's get on and do that. Okay, so we're going to put them in there now, hold them in there for five minutes. I'm going to keep them in this net and keep a very close eye on him. If he starts to have any problems, we're going to take it out, take him out and whip him straight into the fresh water. But I'm going to keep him in there and hope that this potassium has an effect. He's been in there about five minutes now, so I'm just going to hold him in the fresh water. As I say, I'm really starting to question the effectiveness of that clover leaf. Potassium permanganate, it doesn't really go purple, that didn't seem very strong. So we're going to put him back in the hospital vat now. We're going to put him back in the hospital vat now and then in three days time we'll give him another probably stronger potassium permanganate dip typically he's hiding over in the dark corner but that's him back in there hopefully the potassium permanganate has had some effect keep a close eye on him now and we'll check back in with him soon there we have it then. I hope the potassium permanganate helps with that tancho. I mean, it's 50-50 really at this stage. It could go either way, but fingers crossed we get a good outcome there. Um, I also just wanted to say that we now also live stream on um, Friday nights over on the Balding Reefers channel at 8 p.m. GMT. So if you haven't, head on over there and check out his channel. I'll try and put a link in the description below. It's great and you'll really enjoy it. We have a really good time over there. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.